Hi folks, I'm Jay from Another Dying, and uh, I'm going to play Dead Cells. So I've decided to do something different for a change, you know, play a game that is not Caves of Cut. Unheard of, I know, but um, yeah, I have recently been trying out the um, Microsoft Game Pass thing, just for shits and giggles, because it's cheap if you do just the test month and um, the initial thing. So uh, that is for PC, and uh, there's a bunch of cool games in there. There's a bunch of actually really cool games in there. One of them is Dead Cells, and um, another one is Void Bastards, that I actually also want to play for... play on camera, on screen, whatever. So, um, but I'm, I, I just thought I'd start with Dead Cells. Before we get into it, I have not really played this game before. Um, I've played it once, so A, who I'm running kind of theoretically this channel with, um, uh, she has this game, and she's played a lot of this game, and she's been singing this game's praises for a long time. And I just have never bought it, because, I don't know, because I only play Case of Cat, I guess. Because I'm a horrible person. Um, however, I've, now that I have it, I just thought I might stream it. So I have not really played this before. I've only played like one run at her house. And it was uh, really cool. I really liked it. It fe felt really good to play. So, yeah. Oops. No, I don't want to change my profile. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's bungle this up immediately. Okay, here we go. So safe, okay, so we have three safe slots, all of which are empty. Good. Um, options. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, that's gonna work. Everything is all right here. Diet. Appearance of food, food found in the game is purely aesthetic. Okay. Oh, well, then we do this, of course. <laughs> the diet is... Monster Baguette. I, I I like this. We should probably put this on Baguette at some point. Um, monster. I wonder what that is. Are you going to eat humans if you put it to Monster? Castlevania-esque. So this is probably then wall meat, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I sure like that. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff that I don't know the context of. We're just going to leave that alone for the time being. And let's just start a new game. So we have normal mode, daily challenge, but we can only play normal mode right now. <laughs> Small health up is a croissant. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, okay. All right. Croissant. Um, okay, so we are this blob of cells. I think I should just put on my headphones. All right. So yeah, I'm also using a camera this time. So I hope this works out. Chopping block. Looks like I had a bad time with it. Oh, is this where this character died? There's also more cells coming down. There's also a giant skeleton in the back. Um. Oh yeah. You don't need to tell me how to go down. My cam is on the map. Yeah, it is. Maybe I need to... Game sound could be a tick louder. Okay. Let me just make some adjustments. Where is my... Oh, no. Okay. Let's give this a few more dB. Like this, maybe. Um, my cam- yeah, I'm just going to leave the camera there for the time being. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. Are you the headless fellow that's been getting around? Um, sure. We cannot talk, apparently. C cat got your tongue. Yeah. No tongue. I think we just have a bit of glowy stuff where our face should be. Strange to be back from the dead. I must have noticed. Can no longer die. Not the first, okay. 
Yeah, I really like how this looks. Like the sprites are super expressive and super well animated. And it just feels good. Like this just feels good. Like just moving around feels good in this game. Oh, look at those shadows. Oh yeah, right, our glowy face is actually emitting light. Oh, this is dope. This is really good. Okay, um... Beginner's bow. Ammo comes back after enemies are killed. Cannot be sold. Old wooden shield. So we can use that to absorb damage or parry to block all damage. You know what? I'm going, gonna go with the bow for the time being. Oops, and that is that door. Alright. Okay, so we can... Yeah, this is awesome. We can do this. Can we do anything else? So we can roll, right. Okay. So yeah, this is sort of... Uh, I guess I should kind of introduce this game. This is kind of a... Roguelite... Castlevania-ish thing? A carrot. Okay, I can come back here to use that carrot to... Increase my health again, if I were to lose some. Which I don't intend to do, but which I probably will. So let's splatter that guy. Whoa, that was... I need to roll more. It's always my thing, I don't roll enough in these kinds of games. But yeah, there's just something about how everything is animated. And how, you know, just like the audio-visual feedback of this game, that is just satisfying. Hi, I see Jack. How are you today? I've decided to play something else for a change. And I hope this will now work out, actually. I think this should work. I've, I've done some tests and my connection should be able to handle this. Okay. What do we have here? Um, Frost Blast. Okay, so we can use this... Instead of the bow. Ammo mutation. Less damage, but we freeze the enemies. Okay, I mean, sure, why not? Let's just try stuff. Oh, you... Ah, yeah, okay. I see. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, little star. Let's just leave that bow there. I think the bow might be a little boring, right? Let's just use more fun stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Again, this is my... Oops, I just... Oop. Oop. Hmm. Um, I got a blueprint for a blood sword. Okay. Do I want to open this? Let's wait until this guy turns around. This door's locked. Okay, I cannot actually open this. Ah, well. Yeah, that was a little more straightforward than I anticipated. Hey, buddy. Okay. Okay, there's a shop. Before we go there, let's just explore a little more. Okay, down there we couldn't go because there was this tickle thing, right? Yeah. It's probably something we need to get a skill or whatever. Okay, rub. So we're collecting two kinds of currencies. Blue and gold, I guess. Okay, you throw grenades. Upgrades any one of your three stats, okay. Okay, red items, purple items, green items. And differing amounts of HP increases, okay. So... Now let's go with red for now, because I'm just slashing everything currently. You know, I mean, 
I don't know what I'm doing, so let's see. Okay. I see how this works. This guy had a shield, I think. Yeah, like you. Oops. Well. Mm -hmm. Lots of folks down here. Yeah, this game is a lot more, I guess, action-y than what I usually play in terms of roguelikes, but it's okay. Electric whip. Ignore shields. Oh, that's neat. Um, and higher DPS? Sure, let's try that. And yeah, that's fun, okay. So I think how this is gonna work is that... You know, this has kind of roguelite mechanics, so... Um, permadeath and this kind of thing, so uh, this is a run-based game. And during our runs we're probably going to unlock things that we're then going to find in further runs, I think? That's probably how these kinds of games usually work. Okay. This goes places. This, is, this map is larger than I, than I thought. Also up there there's a shop, but uh, maybe we should actually go there? I don't know. I'm gonna see. Okay, another stat upgrade. Um, let's do purple items. Okay, Promenade of the Condemned. I think this is another level-ish. Okay. Well, teleport. Teleport, teleport up here. Okay, so A says, remember the carrot in the beginning. This does not show up in the chat here, because uh, she writes in Discord. She's extra like that. Okay. Um, good. Thank you for that good advice. Okay, there's a shop worth cooking. Oops, what's that? Pan. A critical hit if the damage if the enemy is facing you. And it's a lot of um hmm. It's a lot of DPS. And it's a lot slower though. Oh yeah, let's let's uh let's stick with the whip. I like the range and stuff. I don't know, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is my first run of the game. The first actual run of the game. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to get to that thingy. To that door. Yeah. So I think I cannot go down there. I cannot go over here. Um Yeah. How about we just go there? Myself a nice cup of tea. <sighs> okay. Okay, so these are speedrun things. If we make it here in two minutes, we could open that door, I think. Okay. Hello. Well, look who it is. I'm the collector. Decent company. Yeah, you definitely do look like decent company. Cells you gather from the others. Procure a few useful items for you. Stumble upon a blueprint. Some more experimental items. Okay. So, yeah, blood sword. I think we found that blueprint. But it's locked. Health, health flask. Okay, that's the only thing we can do. Okay, so the the blue cells are the permanent upgrades, I think. Health potion that can be used at any time. Okay. Oh, and now we can put stuff into other things, like the blood sword. 
or gold reserves? Oh, that preserves gold when you die. Mm-hmm. Random starter bill. Oh, nice. Okay, so we don't only get the... So we would get all the bows that we unlock? Okay. Oh. Okay, I see how this game opens up after, after a bit. I'm still not a fan of the persistent upgrade stuff. But, uh, you know, for this kind of game it absolutely makes sense. So, causes bleeding... Oh well. I'm just going to go for that. Passive stuff. Probably going to get everything over time. So, one mutation available. Okay, brutality mutations, survival mutations, general mutations. Food no longer heals you. Saves you one time if you die prematurely. Okay, so this is kind of perks, right? Um, it's like an after killing an enemy, that's pretty good. I think I want the combo thing. Like right now I'm mostly slashing in melee, so I think I'm going to go for the combo thing. Right, right, sure. What's this? HP restored, okay. Oh, now we have an... Okay, we have a flask. It's kind of a Dark Soulsy thing, isn't it? Kind of like an Estus flask or something. So I guess we can use that once per level. Ha. Huh. Hey, there's something here. Secret zone discovered. Hey, I'm good. Assassin's dagger. Mm-hmm. Blueprint, so we need to actually put cells in it to unlock it, I guess. This seems to be how it works. What do we need? Gardener's key. Okay. Can't open it from here, so we need to actually get the key and get at that stuff from the other side. I see how this works. Okay. We have more folks here. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that whip. Also the way it kind of homes in on enemies. Shit. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, right, we have the combo thing. Okay. Spartan sandals, okay. And by the way, I'm also trying out a new thing for me. Uh, I'm actually standing up while playing. Which is, I don't know. I usually don't do. Oops, and I don't really have the desk for it, but I can. Um, I missed an upgrade back there on the ground. Okay. Um, I can only do that with controller-based games right now. But uh, where is it on the ground? Oh yeah, hello. Assassin scroll. Brutality or tactics? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go with that. I guess we also have the brutality perk already. Oops. Ah. Spikes. Okay. Okay, enemies with a star above them, drop those. Okay, good. Something down here? Yeah, but we cannot get there from there. Teleporter. I kind of like how different the the areas are. Oops. Okay. I mean, let's go down here, I guess. Oh, hello. Oops. Yeah. Okay. We cannot. All right. Okay. Okay. You cannot roll over spikes. That's uh, 
That makes sense. Oh, there's a chest. That is syringe. Tonic. Burns the ground around you. Tonic 3. Heal 4% HP and makes you invulnerable. Take. Is that a one time use item? Probably, right? Okay, I think we're done here. Let's go back. There's other stuff as well, but. Uh... Hmm. Lots of mystery. Okay. I guess we need a wall jump or something for that. Ugh. Fucking spikes. Ugh. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that guy is shielded by something. Yeah. And I'm dead. Okay. Well, this uh this was bound to happen. The lucky prisoners, I don't know what that said. That's my first run. Cool.